Hi, I'm Ria. And I'm Joelle. And, and this, this is your East Side Update. Book club meets every Thursday in the Frost Room of the library during A and B lunch. Discuss your favorite books, read new ones, and participate in writing activities. Looking to get some coding skills? Join Computer Science Club. Meetings are every Thursday at 4.30 to 5.30 in room B1201. Come and go as you please. Keys, keeping education your stepping stone, meets on Thursdays during A and B lunch. A lunch meetings are in room B1205, and B lunch meetings take place in room B1110. Love to problem solve? Join the math club. Meetings are every Tuesday from 4.30 to 5.30 in room B1209. If you're interested in reporting, writing, design, photography, advertising, social media, or videography, apply to be a part of the newspaper, photojournalism, or yearbook team next year. Make sure to fill out the Google form at the link provided and get two teacher recommendations by April 1st. Sign up for the Armed Services Free Career Aptitude Assessment in the counselor's offices or by emailing Mr. Gines at the email provided. Make sure to send your preferred date, either January 29th or January 31st, and your name in the email. The assessment will be at 9 a.m. in room B1274. If you're interested in becoming a Golden Girl, make sure to attend the mandatory meeting with a parent on Wednesday, January 29th from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the cafeteria. Contact Ms. McCall for information with the email provided. color run. The color run happens on Saturday, February 29th, 2020. What time does the color run start? It's going to start with check-in at 9.30 a.m., but the race will start at 10.15 a.m. Where does the color run take place? The color run takes place at Plano Senior High School. When and where are Color Run forms due? Color Run forms are due in the cafeteria by February 6th for a free teacher. You can also bring them to the February meeting. Where can I go to learn more about the Color Run? To learn more about the Color Run, go to tinyurl.com slash Plano Color Run. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Jada Boy123 back at it again. This past Tuesday, both the boys and girls basketball teams played Plano West. The varsity girls demolished them with a final score of 67 to 44, and the boys won by one point from a game-winning bucket and block from Evan Williams, whom I spoke with about the clutch series of events. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm here with varsity basketball player Evan Williams. So this past Tuesday, you had the game-winning bucket and game-winning block. How did that feel? No, it felt pretty cool. You know, I wasn't really expecting to shot but it was a great team effort though so I'll say that. So how do you plan on maintaining the tempo these next few games? Uh easy. Practice hard, listen to coach, just do our thing collectively as a team as one you deserve. And do you see yourself and the team making a run in the playoffs this year? Of course. You know if we just stick together, do our game plan, no bickering at each other, just one unit then we can Appreciate it. Thank you. The varsity boys will be playing against Jesuit later today in the gym at 6 o'clock. 
Both the boys and girls varsity basketball teams will be playing next Tuesday against McKinney Boyd, with the boys playing at home in the gym and the girls playing at McKinney Boyd. The Special Olympics basketball team has a game next Thursday at 7 o'clock in the gym. On Saturday, the boys and girls varsity wrestling team have a tournament at Lancaster High School and the JV team has a tournament at Liberty High School. The JV team also has a tournament at Rick Reedy High School next Wednesday. The boys and girls soccer teams both play against McKinney Boyd next Tuesday at 5.45 with the boys playing at Kimbrough and the girls playing at McKinney Boyd. As usual, make sure to go out and support all your Plano Esports teams. This has been your sports update and I'll see y'all next week. This has been your East Side Update. Make sure to follow us on all social media. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.